Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Renny. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I do appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video. On my channel, I do finance content, career content, and lifestyle content. So if that's something that interests you, please hit that subscribe button because it really does help my channel grow. The question that I get pretty often when I speak about investing is, how do you pick the platform that you should invest on? And I always tell people there are so many different platforms out there. I personally have not tried every single one of them, but I can give you reviews on the ones that I have tried. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through Wealth Simple Trade and then giving you a quick overview of the platform. I'm not gonna go in depth into all the features of Wealth Simple Trade, but if you do want to watch that video, I have a comparison video and I'll link it up here. It basically compares TD Direct Investing to Wealth Simple Trade. This is not to be confused by a Wealth Simple Invest, which is their robo advisor platform. This one is a self directed platform. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can trade on that platform. So basically, how you can put in a trade for to purchase a stock, an ETF, et cetera, et cetera. I personally use the mobile app to make all my purchases, both on their crypto platform and, on, and in my TFSA, but you can also use a desktop. I'll try to include some clips of me investing on the desktop, but it's essentially the same thing. I find that the app is a little easier to use, so do that what you will. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So if you do wanna sign up for Wealth Simple Trade, you can just use the link in my description box. It will get you a few free stocks when you use my, my link. And let me show you how to invest on Wealth Simple Trade. The first thing you want to do is fund your account. As you can see, I ha currently have $500 in this account, and I'm going to show you how to fund it. So click the account that you want to fund. I will fund my TFSA. Click the amount that you want to put in. So I'll choose $100, and then choose the account that you want to get the money from. You can also add a bank account, so any of the major banks, or you can search by any of the smaller banks and to take money from there. When you do want to put money in, you can deposit up to $1,500 instantly. And if you want to do any more than that, it takes a few days for the money to get into your account. This is seen as one of the downfalls of Wealth Simple, unlike other major banks. Now that your account is funded, you are ready to trade. So I love how Wealth Simple breaks down stocks into lists. They basically break it down into different categories. For example, the top 100 on trade. These would be the most popular stocks that are currently trading on Wealth Simple Trade. Remember, the most popular stocks do not mean that these are the stocks that you should buy. It does not correlate to you getting a great return. It just means that there's a heavy volume of people who are currently trading these stocks. You can also see there are the top Canadian stocks, top US stocks. There are lots of different options here. Also the top gainers and top losers. So you can see which stocks are doing the best and have the largest gains in price today versus which ones have largest losses today. The next thing you can do is search by categories. You can see all of the different industries that are out there and you can choose whichever one you like. My favorite is tech. So you can look at all the tech companies available and make a buy from there. There's also fractional trading, which essentially means you can buy a fraction of a share rather than buying a full share. So we'll, the first stock that I'll show you how to buy is Shopify. Shopify is currently trading at $1,800, which is a lot of money. Most people don't have that much money to purchase a stock, so you will buy a fractional share of Shopify. Here you can see all the details about the bid price, the ask price. I can go into more detail about that if you want to see it in another video. Once you click buy, you will be able to choose how much of that stock you want to buy. This is a perk of Wealth Simple because mo many other platforms don't allow you to buy a partial stock. So I will say that I want to buy $250 worth of Shopify right now. And again, I'm not gonna get a full stock, but I'm getting $250 worth of Shopify, which I think is a great thing. I, I highly suggest buying fractional shares if you can. When you go and confirm your order, you can see the amount of shares that you will get, the commission that they're charging, and then the cost for that. So there you go. Easy peasy, I just bought a share, of, a fractional share of Shopify. So now I'll show you how to purchase a stock that is not a fractional share, but the full share. So let's begin, and I'll just look on this top 100 list, and let's choose BlackBerry. This is just for illustration purposes. Make sure you do your research before buying. So I can see BlackBerry is currently selling at $11.56. I can choose how many of these shares that I currently want to buy. So say I want one share of BlackBerry. I can choose that, 
and then I will click continue. When I click continue, it'll show me exactly how a market order works. You do not want to do a market order because a market order essentially means that whatever someone is selling that share for in the market, you will be buying it for. So instead, I choose a limit buy. A limit buy basically is capping the amount of money you're willing to spend on a stock. So this stock is currently worth $11.56. I'm going to say that I only want to pay $11.56 for this stock. Or I can even say that, no, I want to pay $11.50. So whenever the stock drops down to $11.50, buy that stock for me. I'm going to say that I only want one stock at this point in time. You can also choose to keep your order open for 90 days. So whenever in the next 90 days it drops to that price, you will be able to buy it. So now let me show you an American stock. American stocks are a little different than Canadian stocks on Wealthsimple just because there is a commission or a fee that you are charged. So I will do the same thing. I'll choose Rivian as a stock and I'll choose a limit buy rather than a market buy as always. And I choose what the highest price I'm willing to pay for that stock is. I'm going to choose that price and then I'm going to choose how many shares of Rivian I want to buy. So you can choose a one stock, 11 stocks, however many I want, and you can see what the estimated cost would be. As you can see here, this is different from Canadian because there is an exchange rate and it also includes a 1.5% fee that Wealthsimple is charging you. So this can add up if you, depending on the price of the stock that you are buying. So now that you know how to purchase a stock, let me show you how to create a watch list. A watch list is basically how you watch stocks and see their growth over time. I can go and say, okay, I want to track this. Click on the top left hand corner where there's an eyeball and you can basically add it to your watch list and see what the stock is doing over time. This is how I track stocks and I see if I actually want to purchase them. I'll track them for a month or two and then see if it's something I want to purchase. Lastly, I'll show you how to purchase a stock on the desktop platform for Wealth Simple Trade. So same thing, you would just type in either the ticker symbol or the name of the stock. I will then choose either a fractional buy, a limit buy, or a market buy. Because Shopify is a lot of money, I'm going to choose a fractional buy. I'll choose $250 and then I'll click buy. It's exactly the same way as, a, as on the mobile app, just on a desktop. Same thing and we're good to go. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them for you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions about what I just said, please make sure you leave those questions down below. And if you have any other videos that you want to see from me, please also let me know because I want to make videos that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.